Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the pioneer verification code not received error. If you're not receiving the pioneer verification code during login or a transaction, you may be locked out or unable to confirm actions. This guide walks you through the exact steps to get your code or fix the underlying issues. As you can see in this picture, the error says the text message could not be delivered to this number. Please try again in the top here. So you may encounter this error. Now the first thing you want to do is to double check the correct channel. If using SMS, make sure your number is active and can receive international message. And if you're using email, just check the spam and junk promotion folders for pioneer verification. Just go to your Gmail and make sure you look into that. Go to your inbox and there you'll find uh, the spam section the junk section promotions section make sure you check them for any email verification emails sent by uh, pioneer the second step is to wait two to five minutes sometimes the code is delayed so avoid multiple requests within a short time the third thing you want to do is try to the recent option now on the verification page click the recent code and wait again as you can see uh, it is in the bottom right here it says it didn't get the code, resend. You're gonna click on resend and it will be resend to your uh, device. The fourth thing is to use the alternative two-factor authentication. If you enabled Google Authenticator or backup methods, use them instead. And you can also update your contacts infos. You can log into your account settings and ensure your phone number and email are correct. And also if none of these works, just visit pioneer.com slash contact to report the issue and get help. Not receiving a verification code is usually due to carrier delays, incorrect infos, or email filters. Just use these steps to quickly regain access and update your security preference. Now for faster and more reliable access, you can use the authenticator apps instead of SMS verification. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you liked this video and found this helpful, please like and subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment below the video if you have further more questions about this topic. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next tutorial.